watching Alaska's News Source. Well, it's known for its spire in the heart of Sitka. There's a church in Southeast with a lot of history. And as Georgina Fernandez and Lex Yelverton tell us, it also has a spiritual hold. So right now we're about to go check out St. Michael's Cathedral. It's a staple of Sitka that's right behind us. And people from all over the world come to visit it. Let's go check it out. It's known to many as the heart of Sitka. It's a national historic landmark, and today it stands in the middle of downtown Sitka. First time I ever came in here 15 years ago, I just felt like I was home. Yeah. Smells like home. Feels like home. You might already be able to feel that there's a special power in, in the air. Dr. Ann Dittmar is an archeologist and anthropologist, as well as the church resident historian for St. Michael's Cathedral. It was the first Russian Orthodox church in America and is filled with icons and relics from Russia, many created in the 1700s. When asked what the church means to her, her answer was simple. Home. St. Michael's Cathedral is a special place to many. Oh yeah, they feel it. As soon as they come in, they say, oh, wow. And feels a little bit different to any person who enters. It's just very enriching on a personal basis. It touches their soul. Bishop Innocent Benyominov initially built the cathedral. And this is St. Innocent right here, the bishop who built this church. And that's St. Tikhon, who was also the bishop here after after him. St. Yakov was the first Alaska native to become a priest. He served in Sitka and was buried here. So it's dedicated to just him. St. Herman of Alaska was one of the first missionaries that traveled from Siberia. Of all the missionaries, he stayed the longest. This icon has a unique relic with it. And this is actually a relic of his piece, a sliver of bone wow. of his. Throughout the cathedral's history, it has burned down. The original burned to the ground in 1966, so what we see today is just a replica. The authenticity is pretty accurate. There's, there, are very, there are only a few things different about this. While we explored the church, we got the opportunity to light a candle, to enjoy the view of the cathedral balcony, where at one point the choir would sing and ring the bells. Ending off on a high note by taking in the sights of Sitka from the very top of the cathedral. Wow, the top of the cathedral had an amazing view. And the inside was truly just as beautiful. Well, now we're on to our next adventure in Sitka. Road tripping with Alaska's news source. I'm Georgina Fernandez. And I'm Lex Elberton. Oh, those two are having fun. Now, you can find all of our road tripping stories on our app or website. Just go to Alaska's News Source, and while you're there, look for our interactive map, too. We want you to get out and about.